Hey class, this is a video to review activity 15-2. So as mentioned in previous videos, you want to go to resources tab, and in the resources tab you will find the complete drawing set for the Dell High Flower and Garden Center, which will help you when taking those screen captures for your homework assignments. So let's take a look at the questions here. The first question that we have is which circuits serve the following? The water heater for EWH2. So EWH just means electric water heater and that's number two. So we're going to take a look at the electrical sheets. So let's go to the electrical sheets. Okay, so I'm on E1.1. Now this is the lighting plan. Um, let's take a look at the other drawings. So we've got E1.2 shows another lighting plan and a lighting fixture schedule. And then E2.1 is the power plan, so that's going to be our electricity. So it seems like we're probably going to need to look at the power plan. And when it's talking about a water heater, I want you to think in your mind, like, where would a water heater be found in a commercial building? Well, probably inside some sort of mechanical room. So if we went back and looked at the architecture plan, we would note that the mechanical room is up here in this corner. Remember I told you it's always important to go back to your architecture floor plan. So I'm gonna zoom into this corner and see if that um, shows me where the water heater is. Another place that it could possibly be located is somewhere near these bathrooms um, to deliver that on-demand water. Since that's probably the only place that's gonna need hot water for this garden center is uh, for the sinks and the bathrooms. So I'm going to check both of these spots. Okay, so I'm up in this corner, I've zoomed in, and I do see the EWH2 symbol here, and it's actually pointing to um, this area. So we have a panel, it's panel 1, PP1, and circuits 38 and 40. So this is going to be our answer, PP1, 38, and 40. Okay, so for unit heater 3, we want to find the circuit. So on your drawing, you're going to see UH1. So these are the unit heaters here. So I have a unit heater in this room. I have a unit heater in the shipping and loading center. That's unit heater 2. And I need to find unit heater 3. So unit heater 3 is actually located in the loading and shipping. And it looks like it's on PP2 11. So remember, that's just the panel number and then that's the circuit number. All right, so for 1C, it says the receptacles in the count room, which circuit serves the receptacles in the count room. So again, we have to look at the architectural plan to find out where the count room is. So we see that the count room is out, off of the checkout area. It's got these grid lines next to it, C and D, and this is probably where they count the money, which is why it's called count room. So we'll go back to our electrical plan, remembering these grid lines to locate this count room. So if we take a look, here's the count room right here. Um, and actually those grid lines didn't help me in this instance because they're not on this electrical plan. I just kind of had to remember this location outline. But this is the count room. You can see the receptacles. And then you can see that they link back to panel 1, circuit 31. So PP131. Okay, and then we also want to look for the... Um, which circuit serves RTU2, so that's rooftop unit. And actually what's kind of nice is if we're looking on this plan, we see RTU is a hidden line here on this plan because it's on the roof, so it's representing that it's above us and we can't see it. But it says that it's served by MDP 13, 15, and 17. So that's again the panel name, or the panel name and then the circuits. Okay, and lastly, we're looking for the cash registers and the circuits. So if you remember your floor plan, you're going to remember that the cash registers are right here. This is the checkout area. Um, you can see the electrical outlet on the checkout area, and those are all served by um, PP135, and then these two down here are on PP137. So that's why it's a really good idea to familiar, familiarize yourself with the floor plan, because then you know where information is, and you don't have to keep flipping back and forth. Um, if you do flip them back and forth, though, that's fine. Okay, so now on to question number two. It says, where are the electrical breaker panels located? Okay, so on the electrical plan, you can see that all the panels are located in this room, but I don't know the name of this room because it's not on the electrical plan, so I have to go back to the floor plan. So on the floor plan, I can see that the name of that room is mechanical room. 
So for that question, you would want to write mechanical room and then show that picture of the mechanical room. Question number three, what circuit serves the sliding doors at the main entrance? So again, you're going to have to look at the floor plan if you're not really sure where those sliding, where the main entrance is located. So this is going to be the main entrance to the building right here. And you can see that there's a slider here and there's a sliding door right here. And I have a note next to it and it's note number two. So if you look at it, um, it just says make elect electrical connection to door operator. Okay, so that doesn't tell me anything about the circuit. What does is if you follow this line right here, you can see that both of these doors are connected to PP128. So question four asks, what is to be done below the restroom sinks? So I'm gonna zoom in on the restroom here, and then here's the two sinks right here and here. And I do see a note that says four. So I'm gonna look down on the bottom of my drawing and see if that four note, what it says. So if I take a look at that note, it says mount receptacle under sink for plumbing sensors. Okay. And then question number five says, what, what light fixtures are specified for the following locations? The checkout. So to answer these questions, I'm going to take a look at the lighting plan on E1.1. And again, I have to know where the checkout area is. So the checkout area was actually over here. And if you need to reference the floor plan to find that information, that's perfectly acceptable. Zoomed in on the lighting plan, and I see that there's light fixtures here, and they have the letter B next to them. And I'm going to go down to my lighting fixture schedule over here, and I'm going to note the B, and there are Lithonia lights. So we want to put in this information. So make sure that you record all the information for that, and then also take that screen capture. And then I want to find the lights in the greenhouse sales area. So looking at my floor plan, the greenhouse sales area is up here in this upper right hand corner of the drawing. I'm going to go back to E1.1 and the lighting plan and look for the lights in this area. So I can see all these lights in this area and they are in, um, have the letter C next to them. So I'm going to go down to my lighting fixture schedule and I want to look at C. I want to record the um, information I want to write it out and take that screen capture as well. Now I'm looking for the trellis at the outside sales area. So this is the outside um, sales area right here in the drawing and you can see the trellis represented above and we can see the H here which is the H light type. Again you may have to look at your floor plan to know that this was the trellis and, and you should that's what you need to be doing. So I'm going to come down and look at H and I'm going to record the manufacturer and catalog number in my homework assignment. So you can see that information recorded on my homework sheet. Now I want to look for the lights in the loading and shipping area. In this area you can see that we have lights type C and then also S8. So we're going to go down. We have some, emer some emergency lighting too, but that's not our main lighting source. It only comes on when maybe a fire alarm or something goes off. Um, so we would record both C and then we'd record S8 on our homework. So you can see I wrote that manufacturer information here and I've also included the screen captures. Question number six says identify the symbol for each of the following items and then sketch the symbol freehand. So in floor quad receptacle. Okay so for each one of these questions I've identified the symbol and I actually found them either on the drawing or you can actually find all of them on the drawing if you just look at the electrical symbols legend and you can take screen captures of each one. Question number seven asks us to identify the size of the wire and conduit that is supplied to the RT unit, the rooftop unit. To find the answer to this, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the riser diagram on E4.1. So you can see the riser diagram is indicating um, the conduit size here and then in some places it's saying uh, CU, which means copper, right? You're kind of going to go back to the chemistry and those abbreviations. So we have rooftop unit 2 right here, and if you follow the line back to the panel, so it was panel MDP, you can see that it there are three, um, and then it says number 3 CU, so that's copper, and one number 4 CU, ground, and 2 inch conduit. So that ground wire, remember, is the wire that actually literally runs to the ground so if there's some sort of electrical surge it doesn't run through the building but it dissipates into the ground itself. So I also just took a screen capture of that so that I can see it and I wrote it out. Make sure again that you write it out and show the screen capture. 
No, question number eight says, how is the exterior light pole grounded? So I'm going to stay right here on sheet um, E4.1 and I'm going to look at this pole base detail, which is for the light pole, and I'm going to zoom in on it. So you can see the base and you can see the conduit that's running through this light pole. It comes out and then it goes down to the connection to the ground rod. So I would want to record that information. So make sure you write all the information. It's a number six bare solid copper wire exothermic connection to ground rod and then it says the ground rod is driven into the bottom of the trench so that's that connection there and if you want to know what an exothermic connection is you can look that up on Google. And question 9 asks what model is specified for ceiling fans and who is responsible for the installation? So on sheet A 2.1 you can see these two symbols here for the uh, ceiling fans and then there's a note next to them, note number 3. So I want to look down the plan notes on the bottom of the drawing. The plan notes state that the ceiling fan is provided and installed by ECD and model and then it gives um, the information. So you want to write all that out and take a screen capture. Oh just real quick, EC means electrical contractor. So this is the model number and then the ceiling fan is provided and, and installed by the electrical contractor. Question number 10 says which panels and circuits are designated for the ceiling fans? So if we go back up to the drawing, we can see that these ceiling fans are connected to a switch um, and then they are all connected to panel PP1 circuit 24. And just to ver uh, verify that panel information, I would also take a look at sheet E4.1 and at the panel schedule. And you can see that the ceiling fans are noted in the panel schedule, um, but there's more information here about the ceiling fans than what we just found on the drawings. So you can see that the circuit number 15 and 17 as well as circuit number 16 and 18 are uh, related to the ceiling fans or run to the ceiling fans on panel GHCP. So the way you read a panel schedule is all the odd numbers are on this side and all the even numbers are on this side. So you're reading from left to right uh, for, for these descriptions here, but then for this description here, you're reading from right to left to find the information. So a little confusing, but I think you'll get it. So again, just verify the ceiling fan information because we also have panel GHCP circuit number 15, 16, 17, and 18 for the ceiling fan. So go ahead and record that information on your homework assignment, and that is the end of 15-2.